Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Thursday morning. Um, not so sunny today, a bit muggy. But I hope that as we listen to God's word, uh, your spiritual awareness would grow and not be muggy. The uh, scripture is Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Jesus says these words, and he said this so many times in different places. Having said all the things that he said, he uses these words, 15. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear. So he who has ears to hear, let him hear. I love this scripture. I love those words because, of course, we've all got ears and we're all hearing. Those gathered in that place on that occasion were there hearing with their ears. And there was a sense in which they were capturing the information from Jesus's lips. And they've already come to respect what Jesus had said. Therefore, they were taking notice of him because they were, in effect, there listening. But were they really hearing what he was saying? It seems if you go through the stories of Jesus as he travels through the Gospels, that he's always having to tell them again and again and again, in different ways, the same thing. He's trying to press home the point. Many of the parables are just parables that have a point to impress upon them what it is he wants them to, to hear and to see. And the reality of hearing comes at one level. You know, you have information, you give it to me. I have information. That's one level. But Jesus isn't really talking about listening and hearing at that level. The level that Jesus is talking about hearing is listening and hearing in the spirit man, your spiritual being, being able to understand what God is saying to the people in their spirit and I've said before that it's only when you know what you know then you really know and Jesus is wanting this group of people to gain an understanding in their inner man of the things that he's about to say and the things that he's been saying and the things that he's been saying is that here is a new way. God is beginning again. There is a, a fresh day. The old has gone, the new has come. Jesus is wanting them to get that because he's wanting to prepare them and allow them access into the revelation of this new way. And without revelation, there is no insight. There is no true understanding. You hear, you know, but you don't really know. But what does God want us to know? Well, what God wants us to know is he's God. He wants us to know that Jesus is the saviour. Jesus wants these people to know that his coming and John's coming represents a new beginning, a new start. And we are the benefactors in these days of that fresh start that John brought, that Jesus brought. We are the benefactors because we live in this dispensation of grace where God has given us an opportunity to access him in a new way, not through the law, but through the grace shown and mercy offered at the cross, the victory gained at the resurrection. God is wanting through Jesus to reveal to us that salvation is available. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.